I have to make sure that that is my name, which it is. 18 year old Darren Wankum shows us the steps of his radiation treatment at the University of Kansas Hospital. It was just seven months ago he learned he had a rare brain cancer. I didn't think this was real life. I thought it was a big old dream or something. And that at some point I'd be waking up. You play it by ear. You just go with the flow. I mean, first things first, you go get your MRIs and CAT scans and you just let it go because there's not much you can do except for choosing a good doctor. Darren chose the University of Kansas Hospital. Here he underwent brain surgery to remove the tumor and six rounds of chemotherapy. Next is 30 days of radiation delivered through a technology called True Beam Linear Accelerator, a radiation that is safer and faster. I put the mask on and it fits contours exactly to my face like so. The advantage of this kind of a linear accelerator is that it allows us to deliver very high doses to the tumor, allowing, it to, allowing us to pretty well kill the tumor and uh, while delivering uh, virtually no radiation to the surrounding critical organs. Darren lays very still, an x-ray is taken, and the radiation begins. He closes his eyes and thinks about all he's been through and where he's headed. My initial thought was that my dreams had been shattered right then and there. But since then, I've realized that my dreams haven't been shattered. They've just been altered. Darren, who planned to enlist in the Marines when he graduated, says he'll now attend college first and then join, hoping to become an officer. Although Darren is doing the hard work to get well, he gives much credit to his doctors, nurses, and technology. The nursing staff and the doctor staff really made me feel they made me feel good because they took care of me like I was their own family. We have been treated excellent from the very moment we were, we entered this hospital. They took really, have taken really good care of us. They have great nurses, great doctors. Well, we expect him to do very well during the course of his radiation therapy treatments. Eight treatments down and 22 to go. This Marine recruit says he's going to beat cancer. For the University of Kansas Hospital, I'm Bob Hallinan.